Hello people, so we're back on the allotment. As you can see we've got some new additions. Got some uh, chicken wire up now. To be fair we've got these hens here with this chicken wire, feeders, fucking waterers, feed, hay, sawdust, the fucking lot. I think paid 20 quid, it was a fucking absolute deal of a lifetime to be fair. And they're both layers as well, um, we've had seven eggs off them so far. Obviously chickens lay one egg a day. Got some more over here as well. Ro Rhode Island Red. Got a silky there, he's a cock him. See, we got, when we got him, he was just literally sat in there, depressed as fuck. And uh, we fetched these yesterday, and I've never seen a cock jump out of a box so fast in my life. Like, boom, proper depressed. Let's try to sort this fucking uh, camera out here. So I built this pen yesterday. I've got a video of me kind of like, before and after kind of situation. But I've got to do a few little bits and bobs to it, like put a better front on it. Got quite a bit of work to do, to be honest. Our lasses down there doing uh, great, great vine sorting, all that art, untangling it all. But yeah, you know, um, there was someone who commented, UK lady, I think it was, I think it's saying some about chickens. The thing with chickens is, you know, they're actually... They're not as hard as what you think to look after. At the current situation, there is a pandemic of uh, bird flu running around. So there's quite a few restrictions that you have to put on your birds. Like, you have to lock them up, uh, free range. You know, they can't be out anywhere out of a coop. You have to fucking lock them up inside of the pen and shit like that. Well, inside of the coop, sorry, not the pen. So there's quite a lot of restrictions at the minute, especially with birds migrating back over to the UK. But let me tell you, you know, the things you've really got to worry about is obviously you've got to make sure they've got a coop somewhere, you know, dry and relatively warm to sleep at night time. I've got a few little more mods to do in there for them to make them a little bit more comfortable because we'll be chucking a few more birds in there anyway. So thinking about making, um, I've done it in there. I'll show you a little bit more of what I did in there. But I need to build something similar to that for these here. But like I say, you know, there is no better feeling than having your own hens laying your own eggs, especially with the current situation of prices and shit. I mean, eggs have gone through fucking roof, same as veg and fruit and stuff. Obviously, you grow fruit and veg, but obviously having your own hens, your own livestock and stuff, like I say, there's no better feeling than having your own eggs, having your own birds laying your own eggs. Plus, you know what you're feeding them. You know that the free range are not some battery hens that are just fucking locked up 24 hours a day, 24-7, not able to move and just forced to fucking lay eggs. You know what I mean? It's not fair on them. Simple as happy eggs, happy hens, good eggs. Simple. And these are fat cunts. These, this is all they literally do is just forage and eat all day, digging, as you can see, doing the thing. Well, they, we got these from someone's back garden. They were in a, a pen that had loads of limestone and shit like that in it. So, as you see, they're all coming out now. Babe! What? Oh, one minute. They're just, they're just coming out at pen, that's all. They're all just, like, deciding to dig around now. Shut the gate. See, we've got these ones here. They haven't really seen these. Come on, in the... Let's round them up. Come on. In you go. Come on, there we go, there's one, there's two. That's what I need to build from a perch as well, because they love to perch. Go on. <laughs> right, we've got one, one up in there. We've got one that decides that it wants to go and meet the other hens. I need to sort all this wood out here. Right, I need to just pause this a sec while I catch this cunt. Fucking finally, man. Chicken run. Chasing it about pissing allotment, man. Annoying ass thing. Don't worry, you'll be able to come out in a minute. We'll just put it post up now. Put a bit of chicken wire, digging it all up. It's all uneven at the minute, and then I'll have a little space to come out. Dig around and stuff like that. I like my silky. I think he's a bad boy. Look at him. Fluffy. Bad boy, but 
bei dem. So yeah, I'm going to crack on with this. I put the uh, before videos of what the pen looked like. Obviously, I've got to sort the front out so it's got like a drop down front because it's not very good at the minute. I just built it like two hours it took me to throw it together. But I'll take the front off and show you a little bit more of what's going off inside. It needs a clean out because they've had a good old shit in there. Chickens for you. They don't mind laying in their own shit. So yeah, we're going to crack on now. Uh, like I say, it's not putting me be recording all this because that, that people want to sit there and watch me hammering away. I'll just stop the video and then come back every now and then explain a little bit what I've done. You know, these ones are a, a little bit more domesticated than them. You can actually get quite close to these without them there. Running off, you know. <laughs> Uh, the bad boy chickens, you can't, you, you, you can't fucking beat hens, man. And some of the personalities, that fucking, that silky in there, he's got a bad boy personality in him. Look at him there, poking his head up. Hey, yo, motherfuckers, you see me with my bitches? Man, i never seen a fucking cock pair cup before like him. As soon as he saw them fucking hens, man, he bounced out of that fucking box like I've never seen. Well, these aren't as, you know, like, domesticated, if you want to say that, as them other ones. You get near these and they fucking, you know, you can't really get near them to be fair. Fucking nice step in and start running away. But if you want your chickens to get used to you, you know, you just got to go near them. Eventually, they'll learn that you're not a threat. Do you know what I mean? And they will start to come up to you. These are young, these ones. But we're hoping that they'll start laying soon. And a nice six eggs a day. But yeah, we've got a we've got a bit to do. But we're getting there, cracking on. Hello, people. Well, we're back. Got the little uh, bit of fencing up for chicken coop. As you can see, young ones are here. Five, six year old, loving it. How it should be, learning, doing a little bit of graft. As you can see, I've took the front off the coop. That's what it looks like. I need to put a front on with some hinges, just make it a little bit more better. Like I say, put some sides on and stuff like that. We'll crack it on with this in a minute. I've got to dig this stuff out. What's up, mate? I see you've got to crush it down. Make sure it's flat. Just digging that out. Coming on slowly, slowly. Is it done? this area this is getting sorted now as you see a lot more open this is where we've planted veg and stuff like that obviously with grapevine being here as well our lass is back here ripping all this down Have ya? So yeah, I'll crack on with this and show you what I've done after I've got it sort of flat and got a little step in there just sticking gate on right now. It's not the best but it'll do. It's a pay. I found an earwig! I found an earwig, have ya? <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. 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 Show sure, the eggs. They're really good for chickens. Meal worms, plenty of protein in them. That's what we got so far. We've had seven eggs out of them two there. One of them didn't lay, I think it was yesterday. It's because we had a little bit of wind and the roof, was, I think it was flapping in the middle of night and it spooked one of them, so they didn't lay. But she's laid, they've both laid one today, so we're buzzing. Back to laying, back to normality, isn't it? The bad boy chickens, you can't beat them, honestly. And like someone said in comments, you know, homegrown is the best. 
he's a bad boy and I really, really do like him. Like how fluffy he is. We got him for free as well, off one of my pals on this allotment. He's buzzing with his bitches, his hens. That's it, bro. We'll try and get him uh, doing the old call if we can. He loves it. Take that freaking glove out of there. What's up, mate? Hello, people. We got it sorted. Watch out, mate. Watch out, yeah. Shut that a minute. Got it sorted. We're already out. Had to put a little step in. Sometimes you got to compromise. I was hammering the stakes in, and the soil was too soft, and they were just falling over. They had no stability, so I had to hammer them in like that. And obviously the fence as well. Yeah, we'll put them in in one sec. But yeah, we're about done. We need, we've got a few little more bits to do here. Got to level yeah. it out and that. Do a few more bits in here. Yeah. Go on, jump a few in. more bits. Yeah, a few more bits, mate, innit? Yeah, but we've got to clean all this out because they've literally annihilated this. I only did this yesterday as well. Built this yesterday. Still got a bit of work. I want to put a, a folding down front, which will act like a ramp as well, so they can get in and out. Yeah, they're all tucked under there. I'll have to pull them out in a minute, actually. Get them all out. Let's stick some more hay. Will you get hay, please? Stick some more hay in here. I know what hay is. Are you going to get some hay, are you? Yeah. Ew, that's a Oh, look, he's poking his head. Here comes Silky. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to stick some hay in there now. Because they like to kick it out. I'm going to come tomorrow, I'll clean all this up. Clean the mess up. If I get time, I'll stick a side on that. If I get time it, to do out tomorrow. But yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there now. Go on then, chuck the hay in, chuck some hay in. I got chuck, have we got some hay? We're going to chuck it inside. Which? Just chuck it all in the back, that's it. Pull, pull the bag closer. That's it. Right, and then just chuck the hay in Ow! there. All in there. Not poking me. That's it, make sure you chuck it in at the back as well. So don't eat it. No, 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 inside. Inside. Inside only. Only inside here? Yeah, only inside there, but put it in this bit here. This is where they sleep. So just put it in like this, yeah? Is that Stick poo? it in there like is that. that yeah, we've got to clean it tomorrow. That cover it. Is one of them crabbed on your back? Oh, you're all right. Just a little bit of smart. <laughs> and then these two here. These are probably these ones. You can't be a good laying hen. But yeah, we've got a few bits and bobs to do in there, like I say. Make it a little bit more homely for them. We'll level all this out here. Clear this rubbish up here. Sort out the back down there. Yeah, oops, no, we're fucking frying them. Not frying them. Yeah, yeah. Let's like say I'll do more videos regardless. Yeah. Yeah, we will, won't we, mate? No. Yeah, we'll do more videos regardless. Yeah. Yeah, we will, won't we, mate? Cheers for watching, people. Peace.